check out this cool banner Julie McGuffey made for our next party. Julie, what have we got here? Well, you know, a party isn't a party unless we have the perfect decorations. And these decorations are going to add some bling and sparkle. And I'm going to use some double-sided metallic paper foil. And I'm going to take one what? sheet. Now, you need letters, though, right? Oh, my gosh, Joe. Let me work on the yes, letters while definitely. you do that. Okay. So you've already got them printed out here. Mm -hmm. And we could use this because that's a font you really like. But there are also fonts built right into the electronic cutting machine. I'm going to go ahead and scan this in so we have exactly what you want. Let me load the mat. A lot of it will depend on the decoration. For example, if it was a wedding or something, you might want something a little bit more flourishy and with a little bit more pizzazz, more elegance, because but, you can make banners for all kinds of party occasions. Well, and you could use the same font for invitations, name yeah, tags, the whole work. Definitely. So that's pretty cool. So, oh, that was easy. Yeah, this is all scanned in. Now, do you have a piece of paper that you want me to cut this out of? Oh, yeah, let's use this uh, metallic foil. Cool. Here we go. And I've got a mat here that's not super sticky. Okay. And now, this is two-sided, uh, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, let's do gold. Gold, okay, okay, so I'm gonna put the gold face up on the mat. Right, because we're not going to do a mirror image for this. And get it nice and flat on there. And this is all done. Let me get out of there here. And now, go. let me load this in. And we always wanna load from the front of the mat there. Now, could we resize those letters if we needed to? I know the, um, what we scanned was the perfect size for what we need, but you do have that option. Absolutely, and I had already done a little test cut, so we okay. knew just what the settings were. Now, this will take a couple minutes, so while it's cutting, why don't we get started okay, on well, the Okay, well, I'll go back parts. to the, the rosette part, right? Okay, well, this is one sheet, and the first thing I'm going to do is to emboss it. And I'm going to emboss lines every half inch from top to bottom. And this is actually a paper trimmer. I'm not going to cut with it, but I'm using the channel right here to do the embossing. So embossing is like pressing down in, making exact, a little groove. Making a of. line. Look, and there, there we go. All the way from the top to the bottom. Now this is an embossing tool, but you know what? You can also use a dead ballpoint pen. You don't have to have a, a, particular, um, a particular tool for this. Just whatever, whatever you happen to have handy. So I'll just do one more. See, I'm moving it over the measurements over here. So I'm moving it over for a half an inch. Okay. There we go. All the way down. Now I've got one that's already scored all the way across. And so the next thing I'm going to do is to cut it into three two inch wide pieces. So now I'm going to use the paper trimmer actually as, <laughs> actually as, as a, a trimmer. trimmer. <laughs> right. So we'll put this on the four inch mark. And cut. And I've got letters got one. ready to roll. I'll work on that. Okay, oh, very cool. So why are we making three, three strips out of that one? Well, we're going to make a rosette, and so I want to make a big rosette, and we're going to accordion fold each of these strips right where the score lines are. So I'm just going to press and fold and press and fold. You do this from end to end on all three pieces, okay? And it's also always better to score the whole piece first and then cut it, rather than cut strips and score the individual strips. Oh, less work. This, yeah, less work, time saver, right? I've got some that's already done, and now I've joined these together with some glue. So let me put the paper trimmer aside. Now so I've joined the three pieces. You've really made one big long strip. One then. big long, let me just stretch it out. I can do that to show you. We've made one long strip, and now I'm going to join these end to end. So we'll use a tape runner right here, like that. And then this is just going to flip over, and they'll get How joined cool together that? right there. And now we've got a ring of folds. Don't look like a rosette, right? Yeah, you've got a donut. I know. <laughs> and not one that we can eat. Now, usually you'll press it together in the center and then press it down gently and you've got your rosette. But look what happens, it'll perfect, pop perfect. up. So I use a circle cookie cutter and I'm gonna put it inside there and it is going to hold it in place oh, while we tip. add the center. So now what happens? Well, now you've already pre-cut some circles for me out of post board and I'm gonna put some glue on the post board circle because I need something a little bit substantial for the center. 
And the okay. cool thing is with the electronic cutting machine, that circle and the paper, aluminum paper is exactly the same size. Yeah, we this, know it's gonna fit perfectly. We know it's gonna fit perfectly. And I'm using the embossed, an embossed paper foil again, rather than the plain metallic. And now we're going to glue this right over the center. And you're using and a hot glue for this. I'm, well, this is the low temp glue. I, don't, I wouldn't recommend um, hot glue. You can also use a really, really thick tacky glue, but we want to, this to hold immediately, right? So we'll pop that there like that, and just the folds a little bit. Let me move the cookie cutter oh, circle how cool. away. How cute. And now I'm gonna use a stick glue, and here we go, and we'll put the letter right in the center. So. And what's cool with that concept, we could put anything in the center. You could right. put a flower, you could put somebody's picture. Right, we actually made a banner for a wedding that says Mr. and Mrs. We use the, the same uh, double-sided paper foil, but just obviously a, a little bit different technique. Let's slide this off. And, and from the feel the of that foil, it looks like it would emboss with an embossing folder just uh, beautifully. Yes, it really, it really does. And then you can either use a tapestry needle and thread some nylon uh, fishing line or some or a sparkly um, a sparkly thread through to hold all these rosettes together to make yep. your banner or add some little hooks and then you can add them to string of lights so or whatever you even like. Even Christmas hooks. Now you've made some other goodies to decorate our party. What else have you got? Well we have. We've got some paper lanterns. You can even cut out a design to put around an LED candle. And then these right here, these are actually little ornaments. Those are and beautiful. you mentioned a Christmas party or any kind of a holiday party. That would be a great holiday gift to give to your guests when they left. Perfect. Well, thank Pretty you. Pretty cool, huh? 